Hi guys, some of you may be aware that me and my family have been planning to relocate back to Zim. We had planned to start this year 2020, but you know what, you know, God had other plans and we couldn't do anything. But we have been trying our best remotely. We've been building, you know, setting up uh, things like drilling boreholes, um, making sure our our house our home is secured you know so yeah there we go now um around me here i'm surrounded by a few barrels or you call them drums in zim and um i'm gonna be filling these i'm gonna be filling them with the things that i don't need in the house i've had a lot of things over the years that were accumulating in my house that i don't need so i am packing in these barrels these are already full and ready to go and uh, maybe i'll buy a few new things that i'll you know put in these these drums anything that may fit in there and um i'm so excited guys that uh you know i'll be i'll be moving back to zimbabwe eventually i'm not certain what date now or what year but it's gonna be soon and uh, my family are also excited um it took me a long time to come to this decision uh it wasn't an easy one it was very difficult uh back home you know people think oh things are not so good here why are you trying to come back here stay there for a bit more you know uh, i was like no you know what if you guys survived there i can also survive so i'm gonna be coming to struggle with you so this is yeah this is what i'll be doing i'll be going back stay there i'm super excited and um i think i won't be living in a big city to start with i'm gonna be living in a small small town uh in mutoko so here we go mutoko uh yeah so I'll, I'll be you know updating you on everything i'm doing um about you know my relocation to zimbabwe i'll update you i'll be coming visiting here on my channel you know keeping you up to date with uh, current situations current troubles guys it's not gonna be an easy journey but this will motivate me Everything in here from pots, hobs, gas stops, tops, beds, sofas. This is a ice maker. It's very hot, as you know. It's a brand new ice maker. Yeah, we've got a lot of things in the boxes. Suitcases. I don't know how many suitcases are in there. So what I've been doing is getting rid of all the old suitcases. You know those suitcases that have only two years. We are getting rid of them. So that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it.
It's Saturday morning, 5th of December 2020. Um, we are here again, loading. So all these things here will go on the sides of this car inside there. Um, and um, hopefully they will fit. It looks like it's really tight, but I'll try our best to make sure all our belongings go. Uh, I forgot to take the drum. I mean the car being loaded to the van. So we have to drill. Okay. Close the van. You have to drill. Health and safety in England is on top of the board. Hi guys, it's me once again. Um, I hope you're doing well today. Um, as for me, well, everything seems to be going very very slow um, as you can see we are loading and loading do this do that so at the moment we are stuck at the site where we are keeping our van because uh, the car we have to carry in like i said before it has to be tied from the bottom of the car the lorry so it, it is delaying everything uh, we could have finished by today we're targeting that today will be rounding off but uh, it looks like um, we are still here for another day uh, complete everything uh, the lorry is doing very well it's a great great car a great car um, so we have to drill from the bottom of the car to inside so that we can tie the straps for to secure the car that's gonna go inside this is the car that's gonna go inside uh, it's my uncle's car he's gonna be using it in gym um when it arrives there so yeah so there we go guys um it's sunset now it's um we've been here all day we came here around eight in the morning i only went home to get some lunch we didn't have breakfast and um, so we just uh, had lunch from the leftovers from yesterday so we are here um as you can see England, Birmingham City, Warsaw Town. Yeah, this is the allotment where we grow our vegetables. It's up there at the top. I think I showed you the other day. Um, yeah. So. Oh, okay. So we're coming again here to get some blankets. Where is here? This is our allotment. Yeah, we lock it. Those people come and vandalize. So we lock it with raw vegetables here. This is what inspired us as well. Knowing that we can grow our own vegetables. We can tell what if we have big legs, we can do better. So Tomatoes. It's only that it's late in, in winter now, so they are drying up. But we had everything we had vegetables, garlic, we had cabbages, we had beetroot, we still have, and even maize. It's over there. 